Okay, sure. So today, as I, you know, we're talking about RTSP and MPEG Transport Stream, MPEG TS as it's uh, referred to. These are two streaming protocols generally used in broadcast and security. RTSP is very popular in security and surveillance, and MPEG TS is extremely popular in the broadcast market. But in some applications, you may have the need to use one or other. So let me explain the differences. RTSP comes in two flavors. There's RTSP over UDP and there's RTSP over TCP. I would say 90% of applications use RTSP over TCP because that's a two-way streaming format where there's a, uh, an ability for the client or the decoder to be able to handshake with the encoder and the encoder can then stream to the decoder. So that's what I mean by two-way. The, uh, the way this works is that the client communicates with the encoder and says, um, please send me a stream and the encoder then generates that stream, sends it to the client. If a second client comes onto the network, that second client can also access the encoder and request another stream to be sent. So now the encoder is generating two streams, one for each client. The, the bit rate has gone up by a factor of two because each stream that is generated increases the, um, the bit rate. The um, MPEG TS is completely different. MPEG TS works over UDP, so it's a one way streaming format. And the way MPEG TS works is that you have to tell the encoder what is the IP address of the decoder, and it will send that stream specifically to that IP address. There is no opportunity for another decoder to then connect up and ask for a stream. There is only one stream, and it's literally from encoder to decoder. So that's the difference between RTSP over TCP, because you can support multiple clients, and MPEG-TS, where you can only support one client. Now, having said that, there is a limit. RTSP over TCP, the encoder can only generate so many streams, and that, and that depends on a lot of things. It can generate one stream, two streams, or maybe 20 streams, but that, that's sort of de encoder dependent. With the MPEG-TS mode, you can only generate one. The way you overcome this in both modes to, to support more and more clients is you have to go multicast. And once you go into the multicast world, then it's, it's a completely different subject. And we've actually done a little uh, blog on multicasting. So anyway, those are the differences between RTSP and MPEG-TS.